As G7 leaders gathered for a summit on China's doorstep, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau sought to mobilize allies against foreign interference. His government has recently faced questions over Beijing's alleged attempts to influence federal elections. In Hiroshima, Canada and its G7 allies issued a statement that specifically called out China not to conduct interference activities aimed at undermining the integrity of our democratic institutions. Language Trudeau reportedly pushed for. Thank you. Thank you. Leaders also united to press China about other contentious topics, including Taiwan, and to urge Russia to end its invasion of Ukraine. Beijing shot back in a statement, accusing the G7 of manipulating issues concerning China to smear and attack China and brazenly interfere in its internal affairs. President Volodymyr Zelensky made Japan the latest stop on his international tour to drum up more support for his country. Back home, the head of Russia's Wagner mercenary group claimed to have captured the ruined eastern city of Bakhmut. Where Ukrainian troops have held off invading forces for several months of brutal fighting. Ukraine's deputy defense minister denied the battle for Bakhmut is over, but stressed the situation is critical. Zelensky arrived at the G7 boosted by President Joe Biden's decision to allow some European countries to give Ukraine the American-made F-16 fighter jets it's been pleading for. And the U.S. says it will train Ukrainian pilots to fly the warplanes. Moscow warned of enormous risks, with a Russian official quoted by state media as saying Western countries were continuing down the path of escalation. For City News, I'm Karen Siolin.